Good morning. Keep in mind, God is in control. No matter when we're here, God's in control. No matter where we are, God's in control. No matter what goes on, God's in control. God's in control. So let us start our worship time together with, I don't know, how about a baptism? We're going to. Awesome. So some of you know that Brian is not a new believer. He's been a believer for a while, and the week he was going to be baptized is the week we had to shut everything down, and then it took us a while to get protocols that allowed us to do baptisms. So this is his first opportunity to publicly proclaim before you, his church family, his love for God. So, Brian, I ask you, do you claim Jesus Christ as your Savior? Have you given your life to him, and do you want to follow him with all of your heart? Yes. So, would you like to be baptized in his name? Yes. And what name shall I baptize you in? Brian Powell Hamilton. One of the ways that we baptize people is a concept called pouring. Scripture doesn't tell us how much water to use. It simply tells us that in the water that is committed to God, God marks this person as his. And so, Brian, because I have more than one person videoing you, I'm asking you to take one step up. <laughs> All right. So, it is in the name of Jesus that we do any baptism. And this one is to symbolize how when God's Spirit fills you, it splashes on everyone around you. So, Brian, I baptize you, Brian Powell Hamilton, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our new brother. With God's help, we will proclaim the good news and live according to the example of Christ. We will surround you with a community of love and forgiveness that you may grow in your trust of God and be found faithful in your service to others. We will pray for you that you may be a true disciple who walks in the way that leads to life. My church family, this is a part of our new family. So those that are going to join today, I have Donnie, Brian, and Christy. And the three of them, I'm going to ask questions. The rest of you are here to say, yay, with them, OK? So my first question to you is, and I've already heard Brian's answer, but we're going to ask you again. Do you proclaim Jesus to be your Lord and Savior? And do you want, with all of your heart, to live after the example of Christ? Yes. And? Yay! yay. And? As you live after this example of Christ, are you willing to give your life totally to Jesus? Yes. <laughs> They're doing their job really well, aren't they? All right. So if you want to be a member of this church, there are some vows that we've talked to about ahead of time that I'm going to remind you of and then ask you to affirm. So will you promise to, to honor this church and to be a member of this church, supporting it with your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness. Yes. Yay! Yay! So excited to have the three of you join. So Pastor Julie, I'm going to have you lead the response and then give them their gifts.
<laughs> we give thanks for all that God has already given you. And, and we welcome you in Christian love as, as members together, together with you in the, in the body of Christ and, and in, in this congregation of the United, United Methodist, Methodist Church. Church. We renew our covenant faithfully to participate in the ministries of the church by our prayers, our presence, our gifts, our service, and our witness that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. All right, I am going to give this one to you. So, Donnie, because you're in the middle of your pod, would you wave at people so they know which one you are? And this is, as we promised, an amazing day. We had a baptism and three members. Woohoo! Woo and the other way you can tell Donnie, not always because he shares, but see William in his arms? If you remember, we got to baptize he and William earlier. So, yay! Hi, William! Glad to see you. Hi, William! So, I present to you your newest members. All right, thank you. Worship team, you're back. 